Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, back with another little tale of woe. Now, I'm not a refrigeration engineer, and I bought this fridge. We've had it around two years, and almost from day one, it started playing up. Either it was getting too hot, it was getting too cold, it was the freezer was frosting up, all sorts of little niggles. So obviously we get the service engineer to come in and he has a look at it and, you know, I've done all this, been a service engineer, gas boilers, all the rest of it. So I know the game, you know, I also know that a lot of people jump to conclusions. Oh, it's this, it's that, it's the other. So he just starts chucking in new parts. So we get a new part, he goes off, the thing is still playing up. Comes back, puts another new part in, goes off, thing's still playing up. So inevitably we run out of the warranty period. Then the next time he comes, it's a hundred quid. And so you wonder, you know, this is, costs about 600 quid. It's a very cheap fridge freezer really in, in those terms. And maybe a bit too cheap because the way that these things work is we've got a freezer compartment here. Now in that freezer compartment, is the actual working bit, if you like. In the back there is that coil which produces the frost on it from the compressor, the uh, evaporator, and that means that it's cooling the, the freezer off. Now, in the back is a fan, and that fan blows the cold air around. It blows it around in the freezer, but it also blows it through into the fridge which is this side. Now you can see I've got this all off at the moment inside the fridge. And where that cold air comes through into the fridge is through a little port. Okay, so far so good. So we've got one section which is making the cold and another section which is borrowing the cold, which seems like a good idea. Now, the way that it works, I'll just show you on this because the service engineer, this is one of the many parts he replaced when he came along. And what this is, is a little flap that goes in between the freezer and the fridge. And when the fridge is cooling for cold, if it feels it needs to be a bit cooler, that little flap opens up on a little electric motor there, 12 volt motor, and the cold air comes into the fridge. It's just blown straight into the fridge. So it blows into the fridge and it goes down inside the fridge. And at the bottom of the fridge, I won't show you now, but behind that drawer is a little grill and that's the return path for the air. So as that cold air is blowing into the fridge, it's going down and it's blowing back through the bottom and the fan in the freezer is sucking that air through. You can just hear it coming on now and it will keep that circulation of air going until the thermostat in the fridge tells it that it's cool enough. And then this little flap will miraculously close. So the little motor will close it off and all is well and good. Now, as it's blowing through cold air, and that cold air can be moist, because especially in the summer, you get quite a lot of humidity in the air, you start getting icing up around this port. So what they do here is they put a little electric heater in, and that little electric heater, when it defrosts, is supposed to just turn on a little element there and melt the ice around the, the door. So the reason the guy replaced this is because it was icing up so that when it was supposed to be open, it wouldn't open, so the fridge was warming up. And then when it was open, it wouldn't close because it was iced up. So the fridge was getting colder and colder. It actually got down to freezing point. We got the yogurts out and they were frozen solid. So this little thing was malfunctioning. So he replaced this with another one without actually testing this one. Now I've tested this one. I found there is no malfunction there. The motor's working and the elements working. So this wasn't the problem. So when he replaced it with the new one, as I say, I've got this casing off at the moment. We've got it to four degrees centigrade. At the moment it's working, but maybe when we come down tomorrow, it'll either be too hot or too cold. So the whole thing is a complete disaster. So I phoned a friend of mine who is actually a refrigeration engineer 
and he said, I said, look, I don't want to go and buy another fridge. This one's two years old. I don't want to buy another one and pay a lot more money for it and then find it's the same fridge rebadged by somebody else. It's the same idea. It's got all these same inherent problems that this one has got, you know, because I can't believe this technology is good enough to do the job. That's my personal opinion. So he said to me, what you're looking for is twin cooling. He said, have a look at that. And Samsung have got the twin cooling concept, but LG have also got a variation on it. But the idea of that is that instead of having this situation where you borrow cold from the freezer to, to operate the fridge, you actually have two completely separate evaporators at the back so that each one is individually controlled. There's no crossover between the fridge and the freezer. You can just operate them independently. That also has another advantage in that if you've got a load of stinky stuff in the fridge, supposing you've got a bit of old fish in, or not old fish, but new fish, <laughs> supposing you've got a bit of fish in there, it, the situation that you've got at the moment is with that air blowing through the fridge, you end up with the smells from the fridge in the freezer. Now, it may not be a big deal that because if the stuff is frozen, that's fine. But supposing you just put something in there to freeze it and it was blowing through fishy smells, you could get a little bit of, I'm not saying contamination, but you could get a crossover of flavors. Let's put it that way between those two. So having those two separate compartments, what they call the twin cooling, I think is the way to go. So sadly, what we're gonna do with this, because I've had enough with it, you know, my wife is on every day to me, oh, the fridge is too cold, the fridge is too hot. She's tearing her hair out with it. So we're gonna get rid of this, two years old, it's gonna go on the scrap heap and we're gonna go for one of those twin cooling ones. So, fingers crossed. I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that useful. It's a little bit of a departure from our usual stuff on Skill Builder, but you know, it's a problem I got, so it may be a problem that somebody else has got. And we do a lot of other things on Skill Builder, a lot of how-tos, a lot of tool tests, and we're also here to give you a bit of help. So if you've got any questions, got any problems, put them on the bottom, and we'll do our best to answer them.